Hello and welcome to Staff TV Live. I'm your host David O, and this is day three of Varsity. We are currently here at the Newcastle Rugby Club, and this is a kind of reminder. This is day three. So from Sunday, we've been going on day one, day two, and day three. So there were four major sports on Sunday, and here's a kind of reminder of the scores. American football men's staff men's team came out victorious, winning 20 to zero. Men's futsal. Kiel came out victorious, winning 82. Women's futsal, which was a friendly, the women's came out, Staffs women's came out victorious, winning 15 to one. And then ultimate frisbee, Staffs men's came out victorious, winning 11 to eight. Now, yesterday there were two major events happening. There was the men's football, which was a very high impact, very energetic, energetic game, where men's Kiel team came out victorious in a last minute goal by Kiel, winning one nil, and then mountaineering, where Kiel also came out victorious in that. So overall, the, the varsity scores are four to two to Kiel. And this is day three where we're gonna be covering the men's and women's football, sorry, men's and women's rugby, where men's, the women's game will start around quarter to six, quarter to six and then the, the men's rugby game will start around quarter to, to seven. So stay tuned. This is gonna be streamed on this channel. You can share it with your friends, family members, and loved ones. And we're gonna be showing you some highlights from yesterday's sporting events. So stay tuned. I'm joined by Dave. How are you doing? I'm doing great, thank you. How are you doing? I'm excited for this one. I think it's going to be a fantastic game. So do I. But like we said, that slick surface does make it a bit of a challenge for defenders and goalkeepers. As it staffs now, we break down the left. It's squared and cleared for good measure. It's going to be thrown. Looking for the flick on and it's executed it's perfectly. Chips and it's in. gone over. Oh. Keepers come flying out. Is it a penalty? I don't think it is. The referee whistles through his lips. It's blown. It's going to be under the wall. Oh. And saved. Big save from the keeper. I'm going to try and break free. Down the left, uh, down their left hand side. No foul call from the ref there. As it was Staffs to, who, number 19 is latched onto a loose ball. Played in by number 52. Appealing for another. Number 12, lining up the kill. Good catch from the staff's keeper. It's good pressure here. Some fantastic skill from number 11. Skill from number 11. Squared. It's gone out. It's played back in to the back Head. stick. Oh. And it's a fantastic save from the goalkeeper. Deflects it onto the crossbar. Big chance again there for Stavish University, but unfortunate. In their efforts. Bought down. Referee waves the appeals away. As number two gets bought down there. That's a beautiful crunch. There is number 12 and number seven. Number 11 is now open. Almost had a penalty there. Shoot. Oh, he just misses on the far right side of the post. Wide to the left. But the attack only fell to the goalkeeper once again but it's high pressure here from number 10 for stats here. number 11 wide open in the middle pressure is mounted he shoots save from the keeper one by number 12 eight flicks it over halfway and that's the end of the first half goalless in the interval into the interval yeah keel a little bit too much you know keel, keel might have gone into his bit a little bit hopefully not As the game looks through, resumed with the same intensity, it ended in the first. Getting very physical right there. But the ball's been kicked up. Stats has a great chance here, number 19. Ball played in by Allerton, spilled by the keeper. It's going to be number 10 that has the shot, Barrett. It's going to be another end swinger from Kiel the right. The players. It's played in. Looking for the head. Headed away by 15. It's going to fall to number 10. Played out. Kept in heroically by number 4. Number 5. This ball's now with number 7. By 
Number 11 with a shot to the ball. Take the shot, but it's saved by the keeper. Key with the ball right now. Pressing. Staffs trying to stop them. Passing it around the midfield. Through in the middle. Played in. Only as far as uh, Staffs' man. The ball's played inside to Espley. It's now with Miles on the right. Tried to be played in. Good save. It's played in and around again. It's getting really scrappy this game is. Number seven knocked off the ball. What a tackle. To be fair, it does go out for a goal kick, but... As the ball's played in, looking for a head. It's at the bar! Miles plays it back in, looking for the head of a teammate. Way less chances than Staff has had so far, but anything can happen. This is the game of football, like right now, Gorgon has slipped up! Oh. But it was tipped oh. over the bar. Kill taking the corner, into the box. Number 11 tries to flick it in, that's a goal for Kill. Kill has scored! Flicked in by number 11 from Kill University and the crowd is going absolutely crazy. Staff's crowd are now quiet and the Kill fans are going nuts right now. Number 28, I don't know if you saw it on the stream. He made his feelings known to the Staff fans. Bar with the ball, tries to get past one. Unsuccessful in doing so, but Ricky Long with the ball on right hand side, unable to get past. And ref blows the whistle. The game is done. Kill University have won the game one nil against Stamford University in Varsity. Fans are running onto the field. Everyone's excited. Staffs are gutted. Players on the floor. Unfortunate for staffs here. I enjoyed that one. Hello again, and we're live on the sidelines of the women's rugby game, Kiel University, Fashion Staffs University. Just a little update on the scores from the men's futsal game. It was 8-6 to Kiel, not 8-2, my apologies. And the men's rugby game will be starting at quarter to eight, not quarter to seven. But we are here at the sidelines live, and I'm here with Jonathan Stacks, one of the members from the Staff Stallions. Hello, Jonathan. Are you ready? Of course. Go Staffs. So I'm going to hand it over to him. Enjoy the game. Thank you very much, David. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I am Jonathan Stack, your commentator for today's double header games. Obviously, the women are on first. It's Staffs Uni versus Kill Uni at Newcastle Rugby Club. Last time out, Kill won Varsity 2019, 17 to 12. Kill women have won the last three in a row. As David said, the current score in Varsity 2022 is Staffs 2, Kill 4. The teams for today's game, we start with Kill. Number one, Simi Soho. Number two, Melissa Kelly. Number three, Lily Piddington. Number four, Alice Burness. Number five, Philippa Walton. Number six, Samantha Wilcox. Number seven, Louise Wilcott. Number eight, and captain, Emma McCallum. Number nine, Julia O'Shea. Number 10, Holly Brooks, number 11, Heather Hardin, number three, no, number four, 12, Ophi Leakey, number 13, Mary Bates, number 14, Hannah Spray, number 15, Bryony Slinger, number 16, Lily O'Brien, number 17, Amy Hughes, number 18, Naya Lane, number 19, Diana Stevens, number 20, Evelyn Hammond, number 21, Charlotte Wood, and number 22, Emma Wynn. Staff's uni lineup as follows. Number one, Katie Frazier. Number two, Caramine Cardwell. Number three, Marnie Leach. Number four, Katie McKinnon. Number five, Charlie Kershaw. Number seven, Izzy Barber. Number eight, Holly Howard. Number nine, Evelyn Smith. Number 10, Lucy Park. Number 11, Emma Punrello. Number 13, Sophie Breeze. Number 14, Sophia Bajar. 
number 18, Chi Onwardy, number 19, Katie Gibson, number 6, Karis Griffin, and number 20, Charlotte Wilmot. There is a great crowd here at the Newcastle Rugby Club today for this double header. Obviously, the men's are kicking off at quarter to eight. So good luck to the Staffs Uni men's team. Hope they do well. Varsity has been a vibe, ladies and gentlemen. Not going to lie. The futsal, there were some cracking goals in that. Obviously, the Stallions won 20 nil. Frisbee, never seen a Frisbee game in my life, and that was sick. That was very, very good. But yeah, Q Sports won in a friendly. They beat Kill 14 to 11. Mountaineering, Staff Shuni got beat by Kill last night. Unlucky on them. But yeah, everyone is now waiting for kickoff. It's a great turnout. Like I've said, there's a packed car park here at Newcastle Rugby Club for the rugby double header. Great support from both sides, from Kill students and Staffordshire University students as we await to get the games underway. Just giving you some prior warning, we will have a minute's silence um, for one of the rugby players um, at a different university. There's going to be a, 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 she died from a rugby injury. So we will have a minute's silence to kick off proceedings. It's nice to see that the men's team have lined up in a guard of honour for the women's team as they come out to start this game. And here come staffs. Here they come. Let's go staffs. Let's go. Great round of applause for the girls as they take the field. in a navy blue and green kit, a varsity special edition kit. And here come the referees for this evening's game. We are moments away from the kickoff here at Newcastle Rugby Club. It's Staff's first kill, Varsity 2022. The teams now line up for the moment of silence.
great appreciation there from both sides as they applaud a fellow rugby player who passed away from a rugby injury. Here we go. It's Staffs versus Kill. And it looks like Kill are going to kick us off. He'll get us on the way and Staffs have the ball. And it's a great start. It's a great start. Oh, she's evading everybody. And she is eventually tackled. Nearly went all the way, but Staffs have the ball to kick us off. Oh, great tackle. Oh, she's missed it, and Kiel get the ball back. Kiel have recovered the ball. It's been turned over by Staffs. Advantage to kill. Referee is playing advantage as kill advance to the try line. Kill making good progress as they penalty to kill. The ref played advantage and he has pulled it back. High tackle. It's a high tackle, it's Kill's ball. It is picked up by Kill as they advance to the try line. Great passing from the Kill girls. They are about six, seven yards from the try line now. Staffs needs to show a great bit of defense here to stop Kill from scoring. And that is a knock on. And that is Staffs ball or oh, scrum. Oh, Staffs, has Kill have taken it quickly. And it is a try to kill. I'm not sure what happened there. But Staffs switched off. I presume the referee played advantage for a previous foul. And Staffs completely switched off. And it is a try to kill. It is currently Staffs 5. No, kill 5, Staffs nil. They are just waiting for a kicking tee to, con to take this conversion.
kind of spray with the conversion. And it remains staffs nil, kill five. That is a great take from the kill player. And we are playing again. And she's evading tackles. Great tackle. Kill advance again. And there was a forward pass there. Forward pass from kill. So it's a scrum to staffs. Scrum to staffs after the forward pass. The girls trying to get back into this game after briefly switching off to allow Kiel to score. And we resume play with the ball in Staff's possession. They will go again with the scrum. I hope everyone is enjoying the coverage that Staffs TV has put on for Varsity 2022. They've done an amazing job so far. We go again with the scrum. Staffs ball. Oh, it's a great tackle. And it's a penalty to Staffs. Kicked into the touch and it'll be a line out. A line out to Staffs. Kill scored early doors after Staffs switched off. There was a bit of confusion with what really happened. The girls switched off and Kill went over for the easy try. It's five nil to, to Kill. There was a knock on there. I believe it's Kiel's ball from that. Kiel gets back on the way with a scrum. And 
Kill advance, breaking tackles. I believe the ref has called offside and, it's, and it remains kill ball. Again, there is a great turnout here tonight for the women's and men's rugby double header here at Newcastle Rugby Club. Oh, and a missed kick from Staffs. And that will be Kiel's ball. So they'll kick it into touch. You're not getting that ball back. New ball, please. And it is a line out to kill on the five yard line. Staffs need a massive chunk of defense right here to stop kill scoring again. The ball has returned. Watch your head. Let's go. Line out to kill on the five yard line. Staffs need a big defense right now to stop kill scoring again. Referee just setting the girls. And kill advance. Staff's just mulling over what to do. So it is a line out to Staff's on the five yard line. And kill. Kill turn the ball over. She slipped out of touch with the ball. So it is a line out to Staffs. The girls just getting set as the ball is about to be played back in. And Staffs have the ball. And Kill try and stop the run, but they tackle the player down inside the five. And it is a penalty to Staffs which is a great kick into touch. And Staffs get a brief respite as the ball is moved from the five yard line. Line out to Staffs. And That is a scrum to kill. People are still finding their way into the arena here at Newcastle Rugby Club. It is a great turnout this evening. Supporting these sports teams from rival universities is a great thing to see. It really is. Kill to, kill to put the ball back into play on the scrum. Great tackle. 
kill advance to the try line. The roar goes up from the kill side of the field with the spectators. They've dropped the ball but recover it quickly. Turnover. They're taking it quickly and proceed to the try line. She runs through a tackle. And that looks like it was a forward pass. Knock on, and it is Staff's ball. Staff's with the scrum on the five yard line. Oh, Kiel have turned it over. Kiel have turned the ball over. And that is a try to Kiel. Their second try of the first half. And that is Staff's nil, Kiel 10. Again, the Staff's girls seemed a bit switched off on the scrum. Kiel prounced onto the ball and took advantage of it to score the try. Holly Brooks with the conversion attempt to make it 12-0. And she does. It is Staff's nil, kill, 12. Holly Brooks with the conversion. Staff's need to try and get back into this game. We have faith in our girls. We have faith in our Staff's girls rugby team right now. They're behind, but we believe. Game is back underway, and that is a knock-on. Staffs have it all to do in the first half. They are now 12 nil down. Staffs to put the ball back in with the scrum. The ball is knocked into touch and it is a staff's ball. Line out to staffs. From where I'm standing, I couldn't actually see what happened, but we move, we move. Staffs actually in the final half quarter of the field for the first time with the ball as they try and get onto the score sheet and they break tackles there's a knock on 
and it is a kills ball. The ball was knocked on and it is a scrum to kill. The ball is being put back into play by Kiel and we get back underway here at Newcastle Rugby Club. And the ball is kicked away and Staffs chase after it. And that is a great tackle to put the ball into touch. It is a line out to Staffs. Line out to kill as we get our back underway, and it is won by kill. She runs through everyone as they advance into the staff's half of the field. That is a staff's line out as the ball is thrown out of play. They'll have to retake that as a substitution is in process. Staff's recovered the ball well and are on the charge. There you go. Breaking tackles and making plays. Staffs desperately trying to get onto the scoreboard in this game for the first time. They are currently 12 nil down, but it's turned over by Kiel. Kiel have won the ball back. Knocked on. There is a knock on there and it is Staffs scrum.
Here's a staff scrum, staff to get us back on the way with the ball being put back in. Great run from Breeze. But it has been turned over again. No. The ref just having a discussion with his assistant. <laughs> the captain is being called over. Not quite sure what happened. The captain is being spoken to about something. Yeah. On, captain, yes. I believe a skill player has been sin binned. I didn't actually see what happened, but a kill player has been simbined. So kill are down to 14. Now would be a great time with the with the woman advantage, player advantage, to get on the scoreboard for staffs. Staffs near the try line. Get up, Evie! And it is a knock on. Here's a scrum to kill. That is a missed opportunity from Staffs. <laughs> Staffs get the ball back and are on the attack. And she's going all the way. Great tackling from Kiel. 
Ref nearly gets taken out, but we move. And that's a try for Staffs. Staffs back in again with a try. Great bit of play and with the player advantage, Staffs get back into the game. It is Staffs five currently, kill 12. From where I'm standing, I can't actually see much. So I can't tell you who scored the goal try but staffs are on the scoreboard now you push on and try and get back into this game and get level before half time that would be scenes Marnie Leach with the conversion attempt And it is no good. It remains Staffs 5, kill 12. Staffs are finally on the scoreboard. Get in. Hopefully this is the spark of positive play that staffs need to get back into this game as Kiel kick us underway. Staffs on the attack. Lovely bit of play as she now gets the ball out. And it is a penalty to Staffs. And it is taken quickly and Staffs on the attack. Evading tackles, evades another tackle. That is a great challenge, but the ball is picked up. Staffs have the momentum in the last five minutes. We have the Varsity winning Staffordshire Stallions in attendance and the Staffordshire Scarlets in attendance as well, cheering on the Staffs rugby team. The ball is back in play and it is a kill ball. Kill kick it away from the try line and it is knocked on and that will be Kill's ball. Kill with a scrum. The score is 12 to 5 to kill. Kill get it away from their danger zone. The 
that is a knock on that is a knock on by kill and it's a staff scrum Oh, it'd be nice to have a staff score before the half. But it is turned over and Kill have the ball. Knock on. And I believe it's staffs that will have the scrum. It is almost half time here at the Newcastle Rugby Club. You are watching Varsity 2022 on Staffs TV. It is Staffs versus Kill women's rugby game. And it is Staffs 5, Kill 12. That is a knock on and that is a kill scrum. We have the men's rugby game later on this evening at quarter to eight. Staffs, men's versus kill, men's. So that'll be a good one to look forward to. Kill put the ball back into play. and advance into Staff's half of the field. And they're breaking tackles, breaking tackles. They, Staff's need a stoppage here. And she's finally brought down. Staff's need to stay switched on here. They're on the scoreboard. They just need to maintain the defense. Scrum to staffs. And Kiel turn the ball over. And they advance to the try line. And Kiel score the try. It is 17 to 5. Without the conversion, the conversion is to come. But Kill have been rampant in this first half. The conversion to make it 19 to 5. Holly Brooks with the conversion attempt.
and she does not get it. And it remains kill 17, staffs five. Scrum to kill as we approach the end of the first half. Misplaced pass and can staffs capitalize on it? I believe Kill have the ball still. Ball is kicked in to touch, and that is half time. The score is kill 17, staffs five. Tomorrow is the final day of Varsity 2022. And it all kicks off on Kill Campus at 9 a.m. with men's rugby, followed by women's football at 10 a.m. Then it's mixed dodgeball at 11, that is a friendly. Women's volleyball at half 12. On the tennis courts, it is the mixed tennis friendly. Netball are also in Warshaw Hall at 12.30. Men's hockey on the Astro pitch at 1.30. Women's lacrosse on the grass pitch at 2 p.m. Men's volleyball at 3 p.m. Also, women's basketball at 3 p.m. Women's hockey at 4 p.m. And to cap off Varsity 2022, at Kiel University is men's basketball at half five. A win for Kiel will take this to a varsity score of Kiel five, staffs two.
great start from the second half. And it is Staffs 12, kill 17. Great start to the second half from Staffs. It is now a five point deficit as Kill gets back underway. Great play, great play. That was a start that Staffs needed in the second half. A great bit of play and a great try. Scored to cut the deficit. I don't know if I can be heard right now, but I'm going to carry on like I'm going. The show must go on. Can you hear me? You can hear me. For a sec, I was doing, I was doing double duty, trying to catch the try on the screen, as well as commentate. We do all sorts out here at Staffs TV. There is an injury, I believe, to number 15 for Staffs. Oh, no, she's good to go. And Staffs take it quickly to proceed to the second half. And that is a great tackle. Great tackle. <clears throat> we apologize if we are having technical issues with the stream. We are trying to get it sorted ASAP but we move with the commentary as staffs have the ball. Oh, and it has been turned over by Kiel, and Kiel have the ball. Now it's a scrum to Kiel. I believe it's a scrum. Either way, staffs have the ball back. They boot it into touch for the line out. Staffs get the ball back into play and retain possession. Knocked on by a staff, so that'll be a kill scrum. Kill advance, and that is a great tackle. Great tackle.
Staffs playing a lot better in this second half. As Kiel proceed, may I have spoken too soon? Is the ball down? Is the ball down? The ref isn't convinced. It's a try. It's a try to kill. The score is now 23 to 12. Staffs have it all to do now. Down by 10. Big, big performance is needed. We apologise for the technical issues that we're having this evening. Stay with us here at Staffs TV as we try and fix them and give you live coverage of the women's and men's rugby varsity games. Staffs put the ball back into play. And advance. Great defense. Great turnover from Kiel. It is a line out to kill, I believe. Is 
Yeah, no, that was a kill. I'd say from where I'm standing, they're about 10 yards away from the try line. Line out to Staffs. One by Staffs. Kill have the ball and are proceeding to the try line. I don't believe a try has been awarded. Kill right on the try line as they try and score again. Great defense from Staffs. And Kill have scored again. Kill have scored again. That is Staffs 12, Kill 27. conversion to come of course if she makes the conversion it goes to 29 And the kick is good. 
It is Staffs 12, kill 29. Staffs have it all to do now, as Kill have double the amount of points. We need a massive performance from Team Staffs right now. The crowd are getting behind them. but Kiel come again. Kill gets us back under the way with a scrum. And they advance again. And they are now again near the try line as they proceed to try and score again. A win for Kill would be 5 2 in the Varsity 2022 scoreline going into the final day. Join us tomorrow as we are at Kill Campus all day for the final day of Varsity 2022. Bringing you in a range of sports. That all gets underway at 9 a.m. with the cricket. Here's Staff's ball. There has been a great showing from both sidelines supporting their teams. It's been great to see this evening. Obviously, we're Staffs TV, we're Team Staffs. We always back our teams until the end. But the girls have it all to do right now. Down by 17.
there is an injury to one of the staff's players. Coming up later this evening, we have the men's rugby staffs versus kill. Team staffs needs to get on the scoreboard with that one. Because if we don't, it'll be 6-2 to kill. Going into the final day of Varsity 2022. Staffs trying to get back into this game now. About 20, 20 yards away from the try line as they progress. This is great resilience from the Kiel defense. There is an advantage on the play to Staffs. There is an injury on the field of play. We think she's good. It's Staff's ball. Down by 17, they need a score. Taken quickly as they proceed in to the final 10 yards. Great resilience from Kill, stopping the staff's attack and pushing them back. Offside to against Kill is a staff's ball. Yellow card, number five for kill, has been Simbind. Staffs have a player advantage. She got Simbind for three offsides. So now Staffs have the man, woman advantage. 
Last time Stavs had the player advantage, they did score. So let's see what we can do to get back into this game. There is an advantage for Staffs for a higher tackle. And it's Staffs ball. There's a penalty to Staffs for a high tackle. There is a stoppage in play as there is an injury on the field. Kill winning by 17. Staffs have it all to do, but Staffs have the ball in a great position to score. Round of applause for the kill player as she leaves the field of play with an injury. I know we are rivals on the pitch, but you don't want to see any injuries to anyone. Everyone who arrives at the game should leave the game in the same way. And we respect that here at Staffs TV and at Staffs Uni. But Staffs have the ball in a great position. 17, 17 down and trying to get the ball over the try line. There is an advantage on the play and it is a try to Staffs. It is a try to Staffs. Lucy Park with the score. Great moment as she celebrates. She is ecstatic with that score and rightfully so, well done. Well done. And that is five more on the scoreboard to Staffs. That is 29-17 now without the conversion. Marnie Leach with the conversion attempt. That's what Staffs needed taking advantage of the sin bin, just like in the first half. And there is a penalty try to Staffs. The referee awarded the plenty try, so no conversion needed. They get the full seven points, and that is now 29 to kill, 19 to Staffs. Let's go, Staffs. Come on now. Oh, what an interception. Going the other way with it, kill. But Staffs get the ball. 
there was an infringement from the kill player and Staffs get the ball back. Gotta be brutally honest. Kill have no original chance, do they? Let's go. They really don't. Sucks to be them. But they are winning and we have to respect that. Great, great back and forth from the two sets of supporters. There is an injured Staffs player on the field of play. Round of applause for the injured Staffs player. Staffs with the ball, down by 10. And Kill bring it back. Breaks a couple of tackles. And is finally downed. Line out for, no, it's a, is it a scrum? It's a scrum to kill, it's a scrum to kill. <laughs> Got to hand it to Staffs. They're trying to get back into this game and they're not giving up on it yet. Down by 10. But now have some defending to do. Kill score again. Another try to kill. And that is now 34 to 19 to kill. They have been rampant during this game. Conversion coming up. And 
and she doesn't make it. So it remains 34 to 19, two kill. Staffs to get us back on the way, kicking it back to kill. Just a reminder that we have the men's rugby game coming up later this evening after this one. Let's hope that they can do better than the women. But the women have played really well. They, have, they haven't given up on this game. And they've got the ball back. Great pass, another great pass. Now run down the wing, let's go, let's go. Great move, great move to go the opposite way. Breaks a tackle, breaks another tackle. And she is stripped of the ball. And it is a penalty to Staffs. <laughs> Into the last seven minutes of the game. And Staffs trying to get another try. Breaking tackles, loving that. Into the five yards now as they try and score team staffs. There you go, breaks the tackle, breaks the tackle. Almost over the line. They're nearly there. There is an advantage, there is an advantage for Staffs. And it is a penalty try to Staffs. That is a, another seven on the board for Staffs. Well done, girls. They're not giving up yet. They're not giving up yet. And there is another yellow card and a Simbin for kill. That is the third kill player to be Simbin in this game. They may be winning, but their discipline is shocking. Staffs score another try to make it 26-34. Now would be a great time for Staffs to get on the scoreboard with the player advantage yet again. The last two times that Staffs have had the player advantage on the sin bin for kill, they have converted it into a try. Third time is a charm, as they say. Let's go, Staffs. 
kill down to 14 players after that yellow card. And Staffs get the ball back. The ball was kicked all the way to the back and now Staffs have the ball on the halfway line. Coming into the final five minutes of this game. Staffs down by eight. It's there for him. Again, kill in the second half have been rampant, but their discipline has been holding them back. Two penalty tries for Staffs. They only need another try and they're in it by one. Staffs need a try to take it to one. And another penalty to Staffs. They need to show a bit of urgency here as time is ticking down. This is a great second half performance from Staffs. Kill or not switched on and Staffs have the ball. Great tackle. There is an advantage, there is an advantage for Staffs. They are almost at the try line. Advantage for Staffs. This is amazing stuff from Staffs. They are almost there. That's a try! That's a try for Staffs! That's a try! Yes! Get in! What a performance! What a performance! And now they are a conversion away from making it a one-point game. Marnie Leach, you better kick good. Let's go. To make this a one point game. Unlucky, it is a three point game. Going into the final five minutes, it is kill 34, staffs 31. What a comeback from Staffs, what a performance. Absolutely amazing from the girls. Can't fault them, they have been amazing. Kill have had ill discipline in the second half and it is kicking them in the behind. It is coming back to cost them because they are now kicking the ball to Staffs. Staffs will get the ball back. This is amazing stuff. This is what Varsity is all about, ladies and gentlemen, watching at home.
Staffs, get the ball back. Oh, the penalty has been given to Kiel. Kiel, have the ball. You can't fault Staff's performance in the second half. They have played incredible. To come back from 17 down to make it a free score game is very impressive. The girls have left it all on the field in this second half. Staffs need a big stoppage. They need to get this ball back. Line out to Staffs, uh, kill, sorry. And they get the ball. Staffs need a big stoppage, big defense right now. Staffs have the ball back. Well done, girls. Let's go. A drop goal ties it. A try wins it. And staffs have the ball, trying to get out of their own half. And that is the game. That is the game. Kill have won. Kill have won by 34 points. 231 and I'm gonna give it back to David as he rounds up kill have won the women's rugby game here and I'm passing it back to David as we get ready for the men's rugby thank you very much John that was a great game it's been what a performance from Stavish University but kill did come out victorious in that well done kill University it is now 5-2 overall in the varsity Sports. Now, we're going to try to get an interview for you shortly. Hopefully, we can get an interview with either some of the players or the coach. But we'll be coming to you right back. But for now, soon, we're going to be playing highlights from day one and day two of varsity. Then, after that, we're going to be streaming the men's rugby game, which will be starting at around quarter to eight. So stay tuned for that. But we will try to get some interviews for you. So hold tight as we get that prepared now.
Hello, and I'm here with Evie, the captain of the women's staff rugby team. So congratulations, it was a good game, unfortunate for the loss, but it was a great game from the staff girls. So how do you think the game was? What do you think the improvements could have been? And what would you do next time for the next games coming up? I think literally we were three points out at the end. Um, there was an illegal, illegal try made by them at the end there, but the referee gave it because of decisions with high tackles and things. We got two penalty tries due to high tackles, repeated high tackles, there were cards given. So I think for next year, we keep up our discipline, we build up on fitness, we get to the ball quicker, we defend the ball quicker, but this is, our old girls have just said, this is the closest game we've ever had at a varsity. This is the best score we've ever had at a varsity. So we're just buzzing to be here, buzzing to have had such a good game, and it feels so good to go into next year knowing that we're going to win next year absolutely love that so then for anybody that's watching rugby like myself for the first time you know what would you say to them um, after watching this game how would you want them to get involved um, come to a give it a go session you know go to your grass grassroots club somewhere close to you come to our give it a goes the men's have got give it goes as well come and join in I know it's a contact sport and it's a bit scary but we're a lovely bunch and we'll teach you what to do as we're going 80% of our team this year were brand new at the beginning of at September so we can get you here get you on the pitch and get you to a point where you're playing at our level love that thank you very much thank you. have a great time thank you so we're going to take you to the highlights of yesterday's football game and then we'll come back with the men's rugby at quarter to eight so stay tuned we'll be back Dave, how are you doing? I'm doing great, thank you. How are you doing? I'm excited for this one. I think it's going to be a fantastic game. But like we said, that slick surface does make it a bit of a challenge for defenders and goalkeepers. As it staffs now, we break down the left. It's squared and cleared for good measure. Going to be thrown. Looking for the flick on and it's executed it's perfectly. And Chips it's gone in. over. Oh. Keepers come flying out. Is it a penalty? I don't think it is. The referee whistles through his lips. It's blown. It's going to be under the wall. Oh. And saved. Big save from the keeper. Going to try and break free. Down the left. Uh, down their left hand side. No foul call from the ref there. As it was Staffs to who number 19 is latched onto a loose ball. Played in by number 52. Appealing for another. Number 12, lining up the kill. Good catch from the staff's keeper. There's good pressure here. Some fantastic skill from number 11. From number 11. Squared. It's gone out. It's played back in. To the back Head. stick. Oh. And it's a fantastic save from the goalkeeper. Deflects it onto the crossbar. Big chance again there for Stavish University, but unfortunate. In their efforts. Bought down. Referee waves the appeals away. As number two gets bought down there. That's a beautiful crunch. There is number 12 and number seven. Number 11 is now open. Almost had a penalty there. Shoot. Oh, he just misses on the far right side of the post. Wide to the left. But the attack only fell to the goalkeeper once again but it's high pressure here from number 10 for stats here. number 11 wide open in the middle pressure is mounted he shoots save from the keeper one by number 12 eight flicks over halfway and that's the end of the first half goalless in the interval into the interval yeah keel a little bit too much you know keel, keel might have gone into the head a little bit hopefully not As the game looks through, it's resumed with the same intensity. It ended in the first. Getting very physical right there. But the ball's been kicked up. Stats has a great chance here. Number 19. Ball played in by Allerton. Spilled by the keeper. 
It's going to be number 10 that has the shot, Barrett. It's going to be another in swinger from Kill the right. The played in, looking for the head, headed away by 15. It's going to fall to number 10. Played out, kept in heroically by number four, number five. Balls now with number seven. By number 11 with a shot to the ball. Takes a shot, but it's saved by the keeper. Key with the ball right now. Pressing. Staffs trying to stop them. Passing it around the midfield. Through in the middle. Played in. Only as far as uh, Staffs' man. The ball's played inside to Espley. It's now with Miles on the right. Tried to be played in. Good save. It's played in and around again. It's getting really scrappy this game is. Number seven knocked off the ball. What a tackle, to be fair. It does go out for a goal kick, but... As the ball's played in, looking for a head. It's at the bar! Miles plays it back in, looking for the head. A, a teammate. Way less chances than Staff has had so far, but anything can happen. This is the game of football. Like right now, Gogeba slips up! Oh. But it was tipped ah. over the bar. <laughs> Kill taking the corner, into the box. Number 11 tries to look it in, that's a goal for Kill! Kill has scored! Licked in by number 11 from Kill University, and the crowd is going absolutely crazy. Staff's crowd are now quiet and the Kill fans are going nuts right now. Number 28, I don't know if you saw it on the stream. He made his feelings known to the staff fans. Bar with the ball, tries to get past one. Unsuccessful in doing so. But Ricky Long with the ball on right hand side. Unable to get past. And ref blows the whistle. The game is done. Kill University have won the game 1 0 against Staff University in Varsity. Fans are running onto the field. Everyone's excited. Staffs are gutted. Players on the floor. Unfortunate for Staffs here. I enjoyed that one.
And we are back at Newcastle Rugby Club as the men take the field. It is the men's turn in this double header of the Varsity Rugby. Kill come out first. They are in red. And their team are as follows. One, Jacob Pearson. Two, Archie Bell. Three, Andy Curtis. Four, Kai Hardin. Five, Patrick Hell. Six, Tom Gould. Seven, Tom Johnson. Eight, Luke Platt. Nine, Dan Simcox. Ten, Ethan Robertson. Eleven, Josh Deneen. Twelve, Sandeep. Thirteen, Mile Kinge. Fourteen, Ethan Ross. Fifteen, Angus Heddin. Sixteen, Harry Palmer. Seventeen, Dan Pavese. 18, Toby, 19, Tom DeGrove, 20, Ben Joes, 21, Adam Babington, 22, Jake Hughes, and 23, Tyler Lennon, and here come Team Staffs. Let's go. Team Staffs line up as follows. One, Tom Heinrich, two, Nathan Simpman, Shipman, three, Niall Bentley, four, Cam Harris. Five, Matt Brown. Six, Theo Young. Seven, Joe Crinks. Eight, Ollie Leach. Nine, Archie Hall. Ten, Rory Dunn. Eleven, Tom Burke. Twelve, Adam Burke. Thirteen, Ben Hartford. Fourteen, Harry Walton. And number 15, Taylor Sims. Subs for Team Staffs. Brandon Boone, Jonathan Santander, Lewis Hall, Will Bagnall. Logan Coquette, Tyler Till, Dan Woolman, Dan Andrews, Oscar Bell and Ben Humphreys. Staffs in the pink kit. Gorgeous pink kit, may I add. Sponsored by the Terrace. Shout out to the sponsors right now. Here we go. Staff's women just had an impressive display in defeat, may I add. They only lost by three, but it was a great comeback in the second half to try and take the W. But it wasn't to be. They lost by three. But here we go. Kill in red. Staff's in the pink. Varsity Men's Rugby at Newcastle Rugby Club. It is currently 5-2 to kill in the Varsity Cup. So staffs really need this win to take it into the final day with half a chance of winning in the Varsity Cup. If they lose, it is 6-2 to kill. Staffs kick us off to begin this game under the lights at Newcastle Rugby Club. And we are away here in the, in the game. A great tackle by Staffs. Blocked, the boot, the kick away was blocked and Staffs try and recover the ball and they have, it is a Staffs ball. Keel get the ball back and break through a tackle. Advantage to Staffs. Advantage is over. And there is a head injury on the field of play. Looks like a head injury. I didn't actually see the tackle, but it doesn't look good. And obviously in this game, you have to be protective of players, especially with head injuries. But a great opening exchange from Kill and Staffs.
great opening exchange from the both teams. Let's hope the Staffs player is okay. He is moving, so that is a great sign. But it was a great back and forth opening exchange from the two teams as we start this first half. Nathan Shipman is okay. That's good to see. I don't know who has possession of the ball. I believe it's Staffs. There is a scrum. It's Kiel's ball. Kiel to get us back on the way here at Newcastle Rugby Club with the scrum. A great scrum, but Kill have the ball. And that is a great tackle, but he has gone. He has lost the ball and that's a knock on. Is that a knock on? Thrown into touch, the gentleman beside me says. And it is a staff's ball. The ref just having a word with the players, telling them no silly business in the scrum, do it properly. And I respect that, I respect that from the ref. Staffs to get the ball back into play once the scrum has begun. It is nil-nil, about five minutes gone. Don't quote me on that though. And that is Kill's ball. Penalty to Kill. There is still a great crowd here at Newcastle Rugby Club in the second game of our rugby doubleheader. If you wasn't watching earlier, the women's game was a great spectacle. Kill edging it just against Staffs by a score of 34 to 31. And Kiel win the line out. And they make good progress with them all. Get the ball out. And now they're on the wing and they're Great tackle by Staffs.
there is an advantage to kill on the play. They're in the final five. And they've played it out wide. And I believe he dropped the ball. He dropped the ball on the play. Catch that, that was a try. But he didn't. I believe it is a scrum to staffs. And that is a penalty to Staffs, awarded to Staffs. Great bit of defending there from the boys. And they have an added 10 yards on the play for descent. The kill player mouthing off to the referee. He ain't having none of that. So Staffs gain an extra 10 yards. And it'll be a line out to Staffs. It's a staff scrum to get us on the way when the ball gets back into play. It's great to have members of the Varsity winning Staffordshire Stallions and the Staffordshire Scarlet cheerleading squad here tonight to support the boys as they try and beat Kill. Staff scrum. Oh, great tackle. That is a great take and a great move to get the ball away. And now Staffs are on the back foot. It hasn't been awarded yet. I don't believe that has been a try awarded.
Knock on, I believe it's Staff's ball. People still coming in to the ground and turning up to show great support for these two university teams, Staffs and Kill, Varsity 2022. Staffs need to get this ball away. And they just barely. Line out to get us back on the way. And Kiel get the ball. And they pass it out wide. And it is again great defense from Staffs. But they move the ball to the left. And another great tackle. Staffs doing everything they can to not concede early doors and it is a penalty to kill. <laughs> Tomorrow is the final day of Varsity 2022 and it all happens from 9 a.m. at Kills Campus with the men's cricket. So join us on Staffs TV as we get that underway tomorrow morning. And if you can't make it down to Kill Campus, it will be streamed in the LRV on the big screen. So make sure you catch some of the action on the final day of Varsity 2022. No score yet between Staffs and Kill. No, no score between Staffs and Kill at the moment. <laughs> Kill are very close to the staff's try line. And Kill have the first score on the board. It is 5 0 to Kill. Conversion now coming up. And that is no good, and it remains kill five, Staffs nil. Staffs will get the game back underway, kicking it to kill. Breaks a tackle, breaks another tackle. And Kill come again with the ball. And they're going down the left side.
Kill gets back on the way of a scrum. <laughs> and Kill have scored again. Two quick scores for Kill. It is now Kill 10. Staff zero. Staffs better try a lot harder to get back into this game and stop the scoring or this could be over early doors. That is two quick scores for Kiel now. And he doesn't get the conversion, so it remains kill 10, staffs 0. And kill will get the ball back. <laughs> Substitution for staffs. And Staffs gets back on the way with a short kick. And it is recovered by Staffs. God, Staffs need to get into gear now. That was a high tackle. It looked high. That was around the neck. That, was, that looked around the neck. So penalty to Staffs. Great kick into touch. Watch red as that ball comes back. So it'll be Staffs with the line out. 10 0 down at the moment. Kill recovered a line out. And Kill break a few tackles and maneuver the ball onto the left wing where they have had. Easy pickings, early doors. It seems like that the left side of the field is the weak point in Staff's defense right now. So Kill exploiting that side of the field. They have done on the first two scores of the game exploited that left side of the field. Scrum to get us back under the way here. And that is a penalty to kill.
Six kills, ball. It's starting to rain here at Newcastle Rugby Club. Get your brollies out, lads. And ladies. Scores on the doors. It's kill 10, staffs nil. Staffs players, substitutes about going through their warm-ups. Expect to see a few changes shortly. And Kill are on the attack again. Great tackle. But Kill still have the ball. And it's a penalty to Kill. He did take it too quickly. The ref wasn't ready. But, yes. Oh, he has changed his mind. It is now Staff's ball. Can Staff's take it quickly? Staff's trying to get out of the danger zone and into the midfield with the ball now. And that is a penalty to kill. Kill holding on too long. And kill have the ball. So they'll try and kick for touch. And get great scoring position on the line out. Still a great atmosphere here at the Newcastle Rugby Club. Stats first kill, Varsity 2022. Great amount of supporters still remain. Put it in the, in the YouTube chat. Are you team staffs or are you team kill? And are you making it to any of the events over tomorrow as Varsity goes into the last day? Kill on the attack. And that was, that was, that was easy, too easy, too easy. And what happens there? Is that a try? Or is that a stop? I believe staff stopped the ball. Look, destined to run all the way, and it was a great stop in the end.
scrum to get us back underway here at Newcastle Rugby Club. It is a kill 10 staffs nil. Staffs trying to get it out of the danger zone. And they almost can lose the ball on the try line. And they have lost the ball on the try line. It is a try to start, uh, kill. And one of the staff's players is not happy. He's being told to calm down. But it is a try to, to kill. And that is now 15-0. Kill with the conversion to make it 17 nil. And he gets it. It is kill 17, staffs nil. And Staffs get us back underway here with the kick. And it is a great take from Kiel. Kiel applying the pressure now. They have a comfortable lead, but they ain't stopping. They want to make it more. Be nice to get staffs on the scoreboard. <laughs> and staffs win the line out. And advance it into the midfield now. And they boot it into touch. There is a knock on and it is Staff's ball.
Stats to get us back on the way with a scrum. 17 nil down. We hope you're enjoying this double header rugby presentation on Staffs TV. Varsity 2022 as Staffs have the ball. And that is a penalty to Staffs. High tackle. Second of the game. And they will, now, they, they will now boot to touch and try and get good field position. And there will be a scrum after the ball was booted out of play. Kill to get us underway with a scrum. And staffs get the ball back. So staffs will try and kick for field position now. Oh no, they take it quickly. And they are tackled and they have lost the ball. their hardest to stop this bleeding they're on a 17 to nil run and the chase is on and stat kill are going to score under the posts there's another try to kill and that is 22 nil that was a great kick on the right hand side and the chase down was never in doubt. And now staffs are looking at a heavy defeat early doors. As kill kick in front of the post to make it 24 to nil.
kill to kick the conversion. And that is 24 nil. Staffs to get the game back underway. Kicking it back to Kiel after the try and conversion from Kiel. <laughs> the two captains just being having a word with from the referee. Keep the game clean. <laughs> we we would uh, I know we're rivals, but we, we we want a clean game here. We want a clean game. Both both captains having a w discussion right now. Something has clearly happened where the ref has asked both teams captains to give a word to the players and keep it clean overhearing the kill captain saying keep your discipline and I gather that the staff's captain Joe Crinks is saying the exact same thing to his players right now even though they are 24 nil down they ain't giving up on this game and they're still going Game is back underway here at Newcastle Rugby Club. That is a great... Great tackle, but he carries Bond onto his feet and he's still going. He's still going. Great run from that kill player there. And now they go back down the left side. <laughs> and that is a penalty to Staffs. Staffs ball. Bit of afters there, bit of afters. But, you know, try and keep the game clean, lads. So yeah, kill, staffs will kick the ball into touch and get great field position and get it away from the try line. If you're just joining us at Staffs TV, you missed a great game earlier. Kill women beat Staffs women. But that wasn't the story that was told. Staffs made a great comeback in defeat to try and get back into the game. It finished 34-31, but the Staffs women team played their hearts out and played exceptionally well. So all credit goes to them. That was a very close game and thoroughly enjoyable. So girls, you have, you left it all out on the field earlier. And we are proud of you here at Staffs TV as you done Team Staffs very proud in Varsity 2022. Here though, in the men's game, it is kill 24, Staffs zero. With Staffs, we've got the ball and have kicked it back to, oh, and he's missed it. So now, Kill are under pressure and that looked forward, but the ref has not given it. But that did look forward in all fairness.
and that is half time. It is kill 24, staffs zero. I'll be back for the second half very shortly. Keep it here at Staffs TV.
live. And we are back for the second half. Staffs versus Kill. The score is 24-0. In that first half, Kill scored from the left, scored from the right, and just scored. So, Kill to kick us off for the second half. And it's a short one up in the air. And it is not recovered. Not recovered. And it is an advantage to Staffs. He missed the ball, but got clattered in the process. Let's hope Staffs have a better showing in the second half. And that is Staffs ball. Taken quickly, and we move. Evades a tackle. Let's hope Staffs can get on the score line, scoreboard in the second half. I believe it is Staff's ball. <laughs> and it's taken quickly and we proceed with the game. Fifteen is screaming for it out on the right. Staffs have the egg in the midfield. This will be the first sin bin of the game and it goes to kill. Yellow card and he is off. So, staffs have the man advantage. Kill down to 14 players. And it is staffs ball. Well recovered. Staffs now advancing into Kiel's half. And a missed misplaced pass. Went straight through his hands, and that is a kill line out. The score is 24 nil to kill. Twenty nineteen varsity kill were the winners. And it looks like they're gonna carry on that trend by winning here in twenty twenty two. Of course, as everyone knows, twenty twenty 
and 2021 were cancelled due to coronavirus. So it's great to have Varsity back here between these two rival universities. Staffs have come out better in the second half. And that is a Staffs ball. That is a penalty to Staffs. This is the longest drive of possession Staffs have had in the game and that could be a knock on. And it is. So I believe that is a kill scrum. Obviously, he misplaced the pass and the egg came off of his leg. So it's a, it's a scrum to kill. They'll get us back on the way. But the positive side of things is that staffs have come out better in the second half. There has been an improvement from the boys. So we'll take that. Great scrum. But now kill, go down the right wing and kick it. I believe staffs have the ball back. They have the ball. And it is a staff's ball. Staffs kick it away and get great field advantage. <laughs> and it is a line out to kill. story of day three of Varsity 2022. The great performance from Staff's rugby women. They went in a great game earlier against Kiel. Lost, but not by much. They had a great second half display. At one point was down by 17 points, rallied back and only lost by three. The final score was 34 to 31 to Kiel. And in this game, it is 24-0 to kill. And staffs have played better in this second half. Kill, ha staffs have the advantage. So the... It, the ball will be coming back to them, and it does.
goes all the way out to the back. So that'll be a scrum. Stas men have got to put the work in now. They have to try and get on the scoreboard as the game is slipping away. But to their credit, they have kept Kill to a zero in this second half. Kill yet to score. And he's out of play. Great tackle as he was running down the wing, looked to be in a certain to get great field advantage, that kill player, and he was stopped by a great tackle. Great tackle. Got to give it to the Staffs boys, they got heart. You are watching men's rugby on Staffs TV. It is Varsity 2022. And we believe that that is a Staffs ball. There seems to be an infringement on the play and the ref is explaining to the kill players that So it's a staff's ball. Staffs have the ball in the midfield. Come out in this second half with a far better display than in the first. Some real positive play from the Staffs rugby team. But Kill now have turned the ball over and have the ball. <laughs> and that is a staff's ball. And tried to be taken quickly, and the ref said no. Denied. Kill have. Staff's ball, staff's ball. And kill have the ball back. Penalty to kill. 
wasn't sure whether there was a yellow car branched in there just now, but that has been unconfirmed, so we'll leave that there. But he'll have the ball. Lev kicked it into great field position. He'll get the line out and are now on the attack. That looked forward. That looked forward. It is a staff's, staff's advantage. And there is a scrum. And it is a scrum to kill to get the game back underway. It's been a pleasant evening of rugby here at Newcastle Rugby Club. For this rugby doubleheader in Varsity. And kill. Staffs have the ball. The roar goes up as the Staffordshire University fans rally their team. But I believe Kill have the ball. No, Staffs have still have the ball, which is good. Great bit of possession for this for the boys as they bang it into the midfield. And there is a second yellow card for Kill. That is another sin bin their second of the game just like in the women's kill seem to have a very ill discipline I believe there was three yellow cards in the women's game earlier there is a second one brandished here in the men so that's five yellow cards in total for the rugby teams shocking but we move staffs have the ball Having a quick drinks break and the kill captain yet again is having a word with his players about the discipline. It's their second yellow card of the game. So staffs have now got the man advantage yet again. They have one man more than kill. Kill have 14 players on the field. Now would be a great time for Stas to get on the scoreboard with this man advantage. <laughs> and we're back on the way. With Stas have got the ball. And a great move. <laughs> 
So Stuff's are making great progress. And, but Kill have got the ball back. Penalty to Kill. Positive bit of play comes to nothing. Yes, again for Staffs. As Kill get the ball back with the one man less on the field scenario due to the sin bin. And Kill kick it into touch. Ref just sorting out the line out, making sure everyone's in position. As we get this ball underway and staffs recover the ball. Or have they recovered the ball? No, staffs did recover the ball and have the ball now. Positive bit of play there. Great bit of possession from Staffs. Let's see if they can turn it into something. Advantage, offside advantage, two Staffs. And it is a staff's ball. Here's a line out. We're well into the second half here at the men's rugby. Is kill 24, staffs nil. And that was a bit of a fail on the line out. <laughs> so there'll be a scrum on the play. Scrum now. It's a scrum to kill. Oh. 
and Staffs have the ball. Great stiff arm there. Love that. But Kill recover the ball. And that is Kill, a penalty to Kill. It's kicked into touch. And it is a line out to kill. <laughs> and it is one by kill. And kill are on the attack. And it is kicked forward towards the try line of staffs. And that is a great tackle and a great stop. Staffs need to get this away. They need to get this away. And they they do. And this is a line out to Staffs. And Kill get that line out and are in a dangerous position now as they try and get on the scoreboard for the first time in this second half. And a great move there and they are in the final 10 of play. Kill really applying the pressure. That is a great pass. And Kill are in for the score. Kill have scored again. Another try to Kill. And that is 29 nil. Kill score again, and there is. We're into the final 15 minutes of the game. This to make it a conversion and to make it 31 to 0. And it has hit the crossbar. Unlucky. Unlucky. It remains 29 0. 
lagi. Staffs to kick us off again. And now kicking back to Q. And that is a staff ball. <laughs> the scoreline doesn't suggest it, but staffs have played their hearts out here this evening. Advantage to staffs as they are near the goal line. And it is a penalty to staffs. Staffs are so close to the goal line now. And Staffs have scored! Yes! Try to Staffs! Get in there, the boys! Let's go! Staffs finally on the scoreboard here at Newcastle Rugby Club. Well done to the boys. Finally on the scoreboard. Look what it means to the lads. Well done, staffs. Yes. And can I just say, fully deserved. They have played so well in this second half. They have fully deserved that try. They have really deserved that try in their second half. They have played so much better than in the first. But the conversion doesn't come to fruition and it remains 29 to five. But the story of the day in the last 30 seconds, staffs have scored a touchdown. A try, sorry. They have scored a try. And they are on the board. There is a great atmosphere here at the Newcastle Rugby Club. The banter back and forth between both sets of supporters. 
is a great atmosphere. But staffs are on the scoreboard. That's all you need to know. Come on, the boys. Offside advantage, two staffs. They will be getting this ball back. And it's a staff's ball, and the party speaker has broken out. Win or lose, staff's rugby have won our hearts here this evening. They have played so well. And that is another yellow card to kill. Shocking discipline. Shocking discipline. Like, control yourself, fella. Control yourself. There is a great atmosphere here at Newcastle Rugby Club. Staffs are on the scoreboard. That's all you need to know. Staffs scored a try. It is 29 to 5. What a, what a, what a, what a move. Staff's got the ball in the midfield now. And Staff's get the ball. Penalty to Staff's. Kill have the ball. And Kill are running down the wing. There is an advantage to Kill on the play. So they will get this ball back. And there is now a yellow card to Staffs. There is a Staffs player in the sim bin. Into the final five minutes now, and both teams have a player in the sim bin. And they have kicked it well into touch. And it is a line out to kill. And they have good, kill have good field position for this line out. So staffs need to defend this accordingly. Otherwise they could be in trouble of another try on the play. They're just waiting for the ball to come back from the over defense.
kill to put this line out into play. We're into the final five minutes of the game. Ref just sorting out the line out. And kill, kill R on the attack. And they score A again. It is another try to kill. And that is now 34 to 5. With the conversion, it will be 36 to 5 if he makes it. But at the time being, it is 34 to 5. But that is an important kick. Staff's got the try. They score, they're on the scoreboard. They're already one in our hearts. as he prepares this conversion. There has been a great night of rugby here at the Newcastle Rugby Club. Kill women beat Staff's women 34 to 31. But the story of that game was a great comeback from Staff's. At one point they were 17 points down and they came it back to just three. And in this one, Kill have been rampant. They have put on a hell of a display. Credit to Kill. Unlucky for staffs, but credit to kill. They've put on one hell of a display this evening. It is 36 to five. The scoreboard still says 34, so I'm not sure if he did kick it or not. Okay, he missed the conversion. Staffs have put in one hell of a performance against an extremely strong kill team this evening. And as they say, win or lose, get on the booze. And these boys will party like no tomorrow at Varsity Gobble tomorrow night. And so they should. They got on the scoreboard. The Staffordshire University students have been behind them the whole game and as rightfully show they should. And they have played so much better in this second half. Starts to put the ball into play. Oh, and it's a misplaced pass. And Kiel have the ball. It is Kill's ball. And that is the game. It is game over. Kill win 34 to 5. But that isn't the story of the night. Staffs have played so well. Have played extremely well. F credit to Kill. They are worthy winners of Varsity Rugby this year. They take a six to four, six to two lead in the Varsity Cup. And now I'll hand you back to David. I've been your commentator for both games, Jonathan Stack. It's been a real pleasure, Staffs TV. Thank you very much. And I'll see you at Varsity Gobble as well. Thank you. Here's David.
and there we have it. Day three of varsity is now over. Women's rugby, Kiel came out victorious, winning 34 to 31. Men's rugby, Kiel coming out victorious again, winning 34 to five. Kiel are now up six points to two, and that is it for Varsity Day 3 on Staff TV. Now, here are just, uh, just some updates on what's happening tomorrow on Staff TV. So, Staff TV Channel 1, we're going to be having women's volleyball at 12 p.m. We're going to be having men's volleyball at 3 p.m. and then men's basketball at 5. And then on Staff TV Second Channel, we're going to be having mixed dodgeball at 10.30 a.m., netball at 12 p.m. and then women's basketball at 3 p.m. Then finally, on Staff TV Third Channel, we'll be having women's football at 9.30 a.m., men's hockey at 1 p.m. and then women's hockey at 3.30 p.m. We'll see you then. Hope you enjoyed today's broadcast. See you tomorrow on Staff TV Channel 1, 2 and 3. I'm David, signing off for now. Goodbye.